Today, I come to the floor to pay tribute to the President Pro Tem of the United States Senate. He's the longest serving senator currently serving in this institution, and he's my friend from Vermont, Senator Pat Leahy. As many of you know, the senator from Vermont also happens to be a talented photographer. His photos have been published in the New York Times, USA Today, and elsewhere. Senator Leahy has also appeared in front of the camera in Batman movies. But this uh, Shutterberg was bitten by the political bug. And he certainly made his mark in Vermont politics. At age 34, he became the youngest and very first Democrat elected to the United States Senate from the Green Mountain State. And today, He's Vermont's longest serving senator, having put his name on the ballot two dozen times during his political career. A year ago in November, my friend and colleague announced that he would not seek re-election to a ninth term. At Vermont State House, he happened to be there to announce his very first Senate campaign. It was at the Vermont State House that he did that. And Pat, at that time, recalled the words of Edmund Burke, the Dubliner who served in the House of Commons during America's Revolutionary War. War. The words that Burke imparted to the electors of Bristol in 1774 inspired Pat Leahy's approach to public service. Burke said, quote, your representative owes you not his industry only, but his judgment. Burke also said a representative ought to have, quote, the most unreserved communication with his constituents, end of quote. Now, in my mind, that still is the essence of representative government. Although we serve on different sides of the aisle, find ourselves on opposite sides of the ideological spectrum, and hail from different regions of the country, Pat and I are called to serve our constituents. Pat Leahy and I have battled together in the trenches countless times over the years. He's a worthy adversary and countless times a trusted legislative ally. And it takes grit, it takes grace, it takes gravitas to score victories and stick to the courage of one's convictions. Indeed, Pat and I have more in common then that might meet the eye. He's a dyed-in-the-wool liberal from New England with law degree from Georgetown. I'm a Midwestern conservative and lifelong family farmer. As Senate colleagues, we share an abiding respect for this institution of the Senate. We value bipartisanship for decades. We've earned the public trust of the voters of Vermont and Iowa. That tells me that Vermonters and Iowans prioritize hard work and constituent service. At his announcement last November, Pat shared that he and his wife, Marcel, made the decision together that it was quoted that it was, to quote his words, time to put down the gavel. First, I want to say how much Barbara and I cherish our friendships. Barbara and I celebrated 68 years of marriage last August 22. Two days later, Marcel and Pat celebrated their 60th wedding anniversary. 
Barbara and Marcel are both cancer survivors and have developed a close friendship over these many years. These wives are strong and resilient and use their voices to advocate early detection and treatment to save lives. Now, I can only speak for myself and believe my friend would agree the unconditional support of Marcel and Barbara have made us better men and then better members of the United States Senate. As I mentioned, Pat and Marcel arrived at their heartfelt decision made in partnership to use his words, put down the gavel. As you can see here from this photograph, Chairman Leahy, Leahy certainly knows how to wield a gavel. He's had plenty of a practice. In his nearly half century of service, Pat has chaired all these committees, the Agriculture Committee, the Judiciary Committee, and the Appropriations Committees. This photo was taken in 2015, when then Chairman Leahy presented me an engraved gavel as I prepared to take the helm of the Judiciary Committee. By the size of this gavel, he's firmly holding in his hands. I'm awful glad that Senator Laley and I get along so well. Although we don't always see eye to eye on politics, we found common ground on issues that matter. We respect each other's views and values and build consensus based on mutual trust. We've served many years together in the Agriculture Committee. Senator Leahy added tens of thousands of acres to the Green Mountain National Forest as one of the few people on earth who can explain the federal milk marketing orders. And boy, did he go to bat for the Northeast United States dairy farmers. Senator Leahy has cultivated expertise in foreign affairs that's recognized here at home and around the world. He's leveraged his leadership to help ban the export of anti-personnel landmines and secure justice for war victims. For years, Senator Leahy and I partners together to strengthen the Freedom of Information Act and also the very important whistleblower protection laws. We've worked together to root out fraud and protect national security with the reforms of the EV, EB-5 investor visa program. We share a fierce commitment to securing our, securing our state's fair share as champions of small rural states in America. From broadband to infrastructure to opioid crisis and pandemic relief, Senator Leahy and I rolled up our sleeves and put in the work to ensure the people of Iowa and Vermont don't get short-ended. For decades, Senator Leahy and I have served together on the Canada-U.S. Interparliamentary Group to advance bilateral economic and trade issues. In May of 2000, we held our annual conference on the steamboat Delta Queen along a route from Memphis to New Orleans. I co-chaired the committee discussing international trade and Senator Leahy co-chaired the panel on international affairs. In May of 2011, our group met with international partners in Belgium, traveled to Russia, where Senator Leahy gave a very important speech on the judiciary and the rule of law, and then to Ireland to advance in all these places, diplomacy, peace, and prosperity. I've enjoyed working together to forge fruitful relations around the world. As I reflect on our years of service together here in the United States Senate, some observers might actually suggest times sure are different than when we first came to Washington. Pat and I, Pat was elected to the United States Senate in 1974. 
the same year that Iowans elected me to the U.S. House of Representatives. At that time, the only Republican in the Iowa delegation. Despite the partisanship and polarization that's defining civic life this year and for the last few years, I have great hope for America. Senator Leahy and I share an abiding fidelity to uphold the promise of America. I'm honored to have served these many years in Senator Leahy's company. Vermonters place their trust in the Senator's Leahy's judgment. They counted on his vote, his voice, his leadership to represent their values, and Senator Leahy has delivered. Barbara and I wish Pat and Marcel joyful days ahead in each other's company on their farm, and we wish them that for many, many years to come. Godspeed to my friend from Vermont. I yield and suggest the absence of a quarrel.